I would like to share <clears throat> uh, some thoughts with myself. Um, necessity means that which is determined to happen the way it happens and it is impossible to happen any other way. Um, if you think rationally about the world, you will come to understand that everything happens according to necessity because everything is determined and in relation with everything else and therefore everything is in mutual um, connection with the totality of all other things in the universe and um, <clears throat> that's that was first expressed consciously in the philosophy of Spinoza and um, when you understand that um, you understand that strictly speaking no individual thing whatever it may be in the in the universe is is free in the sense that it has the the cause of its existence and, and, and movement in an other that only the totality of all determinations which is absolute necessity is free because this this whole of all determinations is not determined by anything other than itself and to be self determined to um, to be the cause of one's own determination is freedom so <clears throat> from um, both a Spinozian and a Hegelian philosophical viewpoint nothing finite is free only the infinite substance for Spinoza or the, 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 the logical ID or the absolute for Hegel is free and um, men think themselves as, as free agents because they do not understand the causes that determine their behavior and actions and um, the only um, liberation for men is to understand themselves as being determined by the what Hegel calls the logical ID, the absolute ID. And when you understand yourself as um, as being um, determined by by this absolute ID you participate in the life of the absolute ID and there is where you find your your own true freedom and this is what Hegel means when at the end of <clears throat> the second uh, book of Die Wissenschaft der Logik the, sci the science of, of logic a passage from the realm of essence and necessity to the realm of the concept which is the realm of, of freedom where you understand yourself as as being determined uh, solely and strictly by yourself but it requires um, a cognitive and intellectual elevation and and uh, and um, in order to be to be truly free you have to understand the whole of reality in its interconnectedness and for a finite mind it's impossible but what we call mystical experiences is when you grasp the, the, the true connections and nature of, of things through a, a, an intellectual process and um, I want to liberate myself and since I am in reciprocal determination with the whole of the universe, 
it follows that the universe and, and other thinking men have to liberate themselves too and um, I will try my, my best to um, to help others understand themselves and to help myself understand myself and to to help the whole uh, understand itself and uh, that's it